if you want to know the best way to invest ten thousand dollars invest it in your teeth what's up guys it's james hill i just got back from getting my veneers as you guys can see the title and the thumbnail i'm going to break down the cost where i went the pain my biggest regrets so stay tuned before we go forward y'all know this is my first video on my personal page james hill tv i'm usually focused on my business but i'm gonna give you guys some behind the scenes make sure you like comment and subscribe so here i am getting ready um they have you put on all these different garments or whatever you got to put on a hairnet your shoes i didn't take my shoes off but they had me put over the same net on my shoes on my head here i am again signing away all my rights um, they had me sign probably 10 or 12 documents. I mean, you got to sign documents for teeth cleaning, for the anesthesia, for shaving down your teeth. Um, I got porcelain veneers, so I didn't have to shave my teeth down like the little chiclets. But um, I did have to shave it down a little bit just so my teeth is not like huge and bulky. Right. So um, I was in a situation to where. I didn't want to shave it all the way down because what if I didn't like it, right? So right now they're analyzing my teeth and ah, ah, I hate needles. Uh, I literally hate needles. Man, that was one of the toughest things. So I went for two days and hit me with the anesthesia. So right now they're about to clean my teeth. Um, and as you can see, my whole mouth is numb. I'm dripping um, slob. I was doing that the whole day because I just couldn't really take it. Um, I, that, that was probably the worst experience just the aftermath of getting all of that and you dripping slob i just felt so dirty and you know i couldn't eat for 24 hours and the whole nine but you know the, the process got better they started to shave my teeth down um just a little bit again not the baby sharks not the chiclets as you can see um but they shaved it down a little bit and i could actually tell it was shaved down but you know it's better than you know, some of the other horrible videos that I see where it's shaved all the way down and then they don't actually like their teeth. And, you know, it's just a, a bad situation there. So as you can see, they shaving you down. I wish I could play the sound, but it got a lot of music in the background and I don't want it to get flagged. So I can't really play the sound. But as you can see, they're shaving my teeth down and just kind of priming them. So they're all even and they're evened out. So when they put the veneers over them, that they all come out perfectly. And a lot of people say I got some of the best veneers they've even seen. Um, I, I've seen some good veneers, I've seen some bad ones. If mine was bad, I'll definitely be spending some money to get some better ones. Um, so you can see I was in good spirit there. Um, it's kind of dr drawn down on me. This is day two. So we did two days, one day just to shave down and get my teeth clean. The next day, here we come again. Ah, I'm telling you, this is one of the, this is one of the scariest things mentally. It doesn't really hurt, but just mentally, it's just scary because you see this big needle going into your gums and me just watching it now, I actually literally was there, obviously. But me watching it now and watching it back with you guys, it's ridiculous. I, I don't wanna live through that again. I'm glad I got mines and they're really nice, but they had to shoot me up so I can numb my whole face. Um, I got sensitive teeth, so I had to really get extra numbed because even when they're like spraying the water and cleaning my teeth, I needed to get numbed. So I got numbed again. So I got kind of like double shots on both sides or whatever, but it is what it is. Uh, it, it depends on how your teeth is. Mine's is really sensitive um, and I don't really like pain. So I told them to do whatever they needed to do. So I didn't have to feel that. They kind of like burn your gums as well. So in order for it to formulate around your mouth, they had to burn your gums and it was just a lot of heat. I can feel the pressure, but I couldn't really feel the heat. I can smell it though, because you can like smell stuff burning and stuff. So right now what they're doing is sizing my teeth up so they can put the veneers on. And once they put the veneers on, uh, they're not oversized and overly big. Like you see a lot of people um, and they just look bad. So this is the reason mine look so good because I overly stressed the sizing. I didn't want to shave my teeth down all the way, which means I didn't want huge 
huge teeth. And if you get the composite veneers, they don't shave your teeth down as much and it's only one day and then they just put the veneers over there. So every time you see people and they be having a big, big, big veneers, that's because they probably got cheap composite veneers and I got porcelain veneers. So I paid a little extra for mine. It was worth the money for sure because you don't want to make this type of investment and be cheap. Um, we're gonna go over pricing a little later. So make sure you stay tuned and make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and share this out to anybody who's been thinking about getting some veneers and we're gonna go into it again. So, all right, you see us here counting, or well, you see me here counting the dollars. Okay, how much did it cost? So I went, oh, okay, I went to three different doctors. One was a doctor in Miami. Um, she was trying to charge me like 45,000. Another was a doctor in Dallas. He was trying to charge me about 40, 35,000. So I actually talked to a bunch of my friends who are rich um, and asked them, hey, you're rich. What did you decide to do with your money when you decided to get your teeth done or whatever? And a lot of them told me, hey, I went overseas, got mine done. Um, you know, you can do what you want. I'm not spending $60,000 on my teeth when you can go overseas and get them done. Probably even better quality for 15, 20,000. So that's what I decided to do. I actually went to Columbia um, and I'm, we're gonna talk about the doctor and everything, but I went to Columbia and the to my total was probably about $12,000 US, but that's not including the flight. That's not including the hotels and things like that. So it was a little more extra that I had to add on top. And I also um, didn't go by myself. So I had to pay for that person's fl flight as well. So, um, and I also got extra teeth. So on this side of my mouth and on that side of my mouth, I had some tooth pulled when I was younger, right? So when I got my tooth pulled, those teeth was missing. So in order to make my veneers and my smile look perfect and look good, um, I actually paid a little bit extra to get that as well. So I got, uh, I think they do, 16 teeth originally and i think i got 18 or 20. so i paid an extra uh 1500 to two thousand dollars for that as well so you you obviously if you're trying to do it you don't have to pay that much everybody is going to be depending on your situation i paid the cost because i didn't want to come back and if i didn't like it and if it didn't feel right or if you can see from the side of my mouth so if you if i smile like this right if I smile, you could actually see that I have veneers around everywhere, right? And this is the before. You guys are looking at the before and that's the after. So it's an amazing smile, beautiful, one of my best investments. I'm a pretty good investor. I invest in stocks, um, I got a business, but this was one of my best investments because it's not just for a Hollywood smile and being an influencer. It's also how people look at you, right? I started the video talking about if you wanted the best way to invest $10,000, invest it in your teeth, right? Because your teeth says a lot about you. For one, it helps you build your confidence. You're more likely to speak up. You're more likely to smile because you know your, your teeth is beautiful, right? Most people, um, they didn't have good dental when they were growing up, just like me, I'm from the east side of Detroit. Um, so I didn't have good dental, but now being older, um, in my late twenties, I'm now able to invest that type of money in my appearance. Um, I'm a public figure. I'm out speaking across the world. I just had a conference with a thousand people there. My teeth matters, your teeth matters. So, uh, and I'm gonna tell you this quick story and, and get you guys off here. And I'm gonna tell you who my doctor was. So it was a guy, um, for my conference, I was trying to work with them. I went to meet with them. I was ready to pull the trigger. It was gonna cost five, $6,000 for PR services. I went and met with the guy and I looked at his teeth. And his teeth looked like he probably didn't brush his teeth in probably three or four weeks. Now the guy was sharp, he was good at what he did, but I just literally didn't want him representing my brand with his teeth like that. So I would encourage you guys, if you are gonna invest in your teeth and you're going to get braces, consider actually getting some veneers because um, you know, you can get the pearly white smile or whatever, but you also, you also, you know, you get the confidence, you get everything that comes with it. So, and it, it, 
you know, it was painful for a minute, but some days I forget about it. The biggest regret, I forgot to talk about this. My biggest regret is now for some reason, I don't know if it's a nerve bad or whatever, but if I get hungry, my teeth start hurting. So that's the biggest regret because when I get hungry, I get hangry. So, all right, guys, I appreciate you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And again, I told you I was going to tell you who the doctor is. Um, I'm not going to tag them because I make money off of my influence. So if you want to know exactly who he is, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Shoot me a DM on Instagram, and I'll send it to you personally. But I'm not going to tag him in here because he's not paying me the big bucks. I paid him. He should pay me. Peace.